Monty McKinnon. I'm delighted that you're here today. What we have in store is to shape some of these braces. So let's take a look at what we're about to do. I did a pre-measure and I'll show you the way I did that. I measured the center of this, noting this, and then what I did is I drew a line, making sure I have my center points, and then I came out this way to measure off each one of these so that I would make sure that when I finally cut this side and this side or this side and this side it would all be the same. So we've done that and that worked fine and I can see that I have a little more to take down here but this is where I'm going to start tapering it down. I want this coming up like this and then down like this. So here I have my handy bench plane and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to start a little bit out here and we're going to start taking that puppy down, not too far. But you can see the tape here. The reason for that is just in case the chisel slips or anything, I, I don't score the back here and I keep it nice and neat, nice and tidy. So we'll, we'll make sure that that works that way. Okay, so this is still secure. It's not moving anywhere. And this is now starting to take shape already. And, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Then we're gonna cut down there even more. Okay, so. Well, maybe I do. Look at that. Isn't it a good thing I had the tape there? Look at that. Now there's a first. Let me get a little bit more tape right here. And I will see that it starts at about my finger. Okay, that knocks the edge off of that. So I'm bringing this up just almost to the side. You can see the chisel working here now on this side. You should be able to see it. Oh man, this is great. Look at that. It's coming down. It's almost in the middle. Now, what I've got going on here is right now there's a point right here and then there's another point here and it's on the other side this one is lower than this one so I'm going to take this down just a little more but I am going to knock off that little sharp edge there because I don't want that and I make sure sometimes the grain goes against you on this and you got to be careful which case you come the other direction you might come this way instead of going that way it all depends and you can see that I've come up I've left it higher up here at the top. This is just the way I do it. I'm, other, other builders will do it differently. I know that. And that's okay. Um, they may have a couple of ideas that I need to learn. So I'm always into learning. And I'm open to suggestions. I have here some ordinary uh, piping you know drain pipes that you use I think this is a one and a half inch this is just a little longer than this and what I do with this is I just wrap my sandpaper around it and now I have a perfect cylinder remember we put this thing down to sixty thousandths of an inch down in here and we had the block in there so I don't want to take it all the way down because that uh, that would not be good now Okay, I do a little bit of that, and then I take this, fold this in half, and then I start over here. And just for reference, this is a 100 grit sandpaper. It's from Norton. It's the red. I like that. I'm going to put a link down there for you. And you can check that out yourself on Amazon if you want to get some. It's really good sandpaper. All right, that's the way we do this. But right now, you know what time it is. It's time for a little bit of uh, energy. 
uh, a get up and go and, and let's get excited because man, we got a pot full of English breakfast tea here and what could be better? This is for you guys. Mmm. Oh boy, is that ever good. By all means, uh, please subscribe. You know, it's, <laughs> I, I figured out my left from my right. It's down here on this side and then hit the bell uh, with uh, a hammer if you would and then uh, hit me with a thumbs up and that'd be great. And maybe send this video on to some of your friends, some of the people you know in music stores and, and your parents and whatnot. I want to encourage everybody to get out and follow their passion. It may not be making guitars. So until we get together again, this is me saying thank you. Don't forget, I've got links down below. You can email me if you wish. And you can follow any of the links. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I am putting up some pictures. And I'll get some pictures of this uh, as we proceed along. And I'll fire those up on Instagram. Thanks very much. Have a great day. We'll see you again in the next video.